Hello, do you want to be an artist? Do you look at pretty art online and cry your eyes out because you could only draw a stick man named Bob or Little Timmy? Oh, I know. Well, you're in luck. Thanks to me. Since you stumbled upon this video, you don't have to cry over your genius fan art idea that you can't find anyone to draw for you because you're broke as hell. This is how you can go from this to this. And only 10 steps. So, number one, find artists who inspire you and maybe have an art style that you like. For me, the most useful artists are Cooleen, Sam Does Arts, Ergo Josh, or Ethan Becker, um, and there's a lot more. Those are just off the top of my head. Those artists have amazing art styles and can feed you great information in like a fun way. You won't be snoozing if you learn from them because they're funny and helpful. Um, Cooleen, for example, I went from this to this in a day and it's not perfect, but her videos taught me how to fix up my art because I like practically copied her coloring style, but with my broke drawing software instead. But it worked, so uh, yeah. Number two, get a sketchbook. If you have a sketchbook, then that's great. Take it with you and draw anything whenever you feel like it. And like anywhere too, because you have it with you. Anyway, it's like the easiest thing on this list. But what do I draw? Anything, like I think you should sit in front of your computer or phone or iPad or something and look up nice portraits or like art references on Pinterest. Pinterest is the perfect place for that sort of thing. Ask and you shall receive. If you're having trouble finding like hot women to draw, then check out my Pinterest account perfect references for just that. You'll find some pretty portraits to draw. And I know what you're thinking. I don't know how to draw though. That's why I'm here. I know, I know. Hold your horses, buddy. You're not drawing off the top of your head. You're copying. Which brings us to number three. Copy, copy, copy. Aw, cool art style. Mine. Cool photo. Mine. Don't claim anyone's art as your own, but feel free to like trace. You should probably mention that you trace though and like credit the artist if you're gonna post it online. Um, but I don't think you should post it online and only use this step for, like, practicing. Uh, let's pretend I do that. When you're copying, aka learning from a drawing, don't forget to actually learn. Pay attention to, like, how a face curves, the placement of the eyes, the shape of everything, etc. Whatever. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going into full detail on how a face works, but if you watch some tutorials, then you will definitely learn there. Speaking of tutorials, point four. Watch them. Watch them. Watch tutorials. I was a beginner too once, so I know what not to watch. When I mean tutorials, I don't mean those how to draw anime chibi easy to draw videos where they teach you like really basic anime style stuff that most of the time isn't very accurate. These are the best types of tutorials. These. And, like, don't be alarmed by the length of them. You don't need to watch it all in one go because, like, I don't do that. Who does that? No one. Um, if you want, like, stop after, like, 20 minutes or something. Just watch it another time. Continue it. But, like, probably take notes. I think you should spend at least one to two hours, maybe a little less, um, studying art and then take more time to actually make some. In the description of this video, I've linked a playlist to some super helpful videos, and like I said, this video is not actually like to teach you how to draw, but rather how to get you started and telling you what to do. I'm sending you off on a mission. Five. You should probably never draw without references. Want to go from this pathetic looking thing to something more like this? Awesome. Look it up. Like seriously. Leg reference. Woman's leg reference. Men's leg reference. It's incredibly simple. Um, please, when you look at references, study them instead of just copying what you see. Watch tutorials on how to draw legs. Cool fact, you can always find the letter S in a cool, healthy leg. 
I learned that when I was like 12 years old from a YouTuber named Zabio Arts. I don't know if he's still around, but he was like a huge help when I was younger and probably like one of the first real artists I watched. Um, I still th- like, I think I still use many of his tips to this day because like, why wouldn't I? Duh. Goddamn. To study a reference, you probably want to look for shapes. Whoa, a triangle. Crazy. Another one. Do all legs look like that? Yes. No way. Let me just trace that and try it for myself. Whoa. That's practically it. Just make sure to look up drawing reference instead of drawing ideas. Please. Number six. Watch YouTube. And no, I'm not going to talk about references again for this one. When I mean YouTube, I don't mean tutorials. I mean regular art tip videos or art commentary or just doing art videos. Like, explore and learn. This is your art experience. For example, you can watch artists like Lavender Town and watch her explain what you're learning wrong based on her experiences. I have not been to art school. She has listen to her or drawing with waffles where you can see like her art process how she colors her ideas and everything it's awesome like those youtubers unfortunately i don't really watch anymore but they gave me like a huge boost when i was beginning i was like 10 11 12 13 <sighs> so my number seven find what you want to draw i've had people come up to me wanting to learn how to draw humans but we'll pull up with the randomest stuff from Google. If you want to draw these, try not to draw these. You should definitely learn how to draw many diverse things. But if you spend like three years drawing eight different things, they're each going to progress very slowly. This probably isn't my best piece of advice though, because I can't I can I can draw this. But I don't know how to draw cars. Nobody knows how to draw cars, it doesn't count. Anyway, eight, actually draw rather than doing like a bunch of lines on paper. The biggest tip for this that I can give are not to feather your lines like this. That's embarrassing as hell. And please be confident with your strokes. Like confident, like don't be like, I'm going so slow because I don't want to mess it up. No, no. This is much easier digitally because of like the famous undo button. Um, but if you're drawing traditionally, you don't need to draw like the full line in one go. Make longer confident strokes instead of one perfect line. For example, don't do this. Do this. And definitely not this. Nine. It's important to know that after doing all these steps, you won't go from this to this in a week of learning. This will take you years. Let me check my Discord notification. Why did you add me? Bro. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, this will take you years. But if you're passionate enough about learning art to click this and sit through the whole thing, then I believe in you. Because even if you aren't the greatest, art is meant to be fun. And hopefully you'll be proud of your art and will enjoy making it even if it looks beginner level. I never stopped learning and I went from this to this in four years. And I'm only 15 years old. I know my art will get better in time and you should feel the same way. This is your art journey and nobody will revive it if you let it go. Keep powering through and someday you'll be amazing. So number 10, just keep learning. Never put the pen down. Practice will always get you where you want it to. And when I say practice, I don't mean drawing the same thing a billion times until you get it like on your own without teachers. Talk to people. Honestly, like, I mean learning, watch things, read, whatever. Repeat most of these steps and you will get there one day. Your performance all relies on your motivation. So even if you feel unmotivated, just lo- wa- like watch more art videos or scroll through Pinterest. That usually inspires me like immediately. Don't stop learning and thank you so much for watching my first video. Hopefully I can come back with some better things to show you so some clout would be like pretty cool so yeah um if you know me online pretend that you don't or pretend that you do and talk to me about how cool i am okay later